With innovation comes, at least to me, two, two types of risk. One is new technologies can raise certain types of risks. There's also the, I'll call it the broader innovation risks around the process itself, about making it successful, about not br building bridges to nowhere, what they call failing fast. I think there's a real focus also on trying to make sure that at the board level, you're talking about risks at the same time as you're talking about strategy. Do boards understand the new technologies and the new innovation that is most relevant to their companies? I think boards are becoming more attuned to the need to better understand how technology is, can, should be impacting the company, both from a strategic point of view, but also what are the attendant risks relating to some of these new technologies. Many companies still operate risk management programs or specific risk management activities in silos and pockets. It's really hard to get your head around what are the most important ones and then how do we think about these together because we're not even using common language when we discuss them. More and more companies are starting to think about do we need to have a chief risk officer or somebody who's a one point person. If it's governance, risk and compliance systems, GRC systems with properly implemented, I think can really help because they, they start with a common taxonomy definitions of the controls and risks across all those groups. If you do have some kind of a common tool or something that can work across, you have less risk, I think, of things falling through the cracks, even at the board level. Because every risk is not created equal. How are boards today looking at assessing and helping set risk culture at companies? It can be a great strategic asset, a great competitive advantage, but it can all destroy value and even take whole companies under. It used to be literally that boards just really got their comfort through the CEO. But I think now there's a lot more we're hearing of board members getting out, touching and feeling things and really understanding what's going on, what's the mood in the middle, what's the buzz at the bottom, the tone at the top, pulling it all together. But then also getting those metrics in a dashboard. I tend to talk to my clients about culture being set as one thing, and maybe that's the easiest thing, but how do you monitor it? How do you measure it? You go down to the employee and talk to him or her about their behavior. Does that align to, to the actual tone? Yeah, it can't be a fear of failure. What there can be is a fear of not being transparent about right. where things are. That's right. Overall, I'm saying we need to become excellent at innovation. You got an innovator, you're gonna die as a company for sure.